Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul video for you. This is from Super Tarts. The owner is Brandy Williams. Here is her information for you to jot down. And I'm going to try and get this uploaded tomorrow because she is opening for BAM bars this week. I don't think she has the full scent list yet for what's going to be available in the BAM bars. But I do know that she is going to have a couple of the scents that are in this haul. So this is from her her last clamshell opening that she shipped already. She did just have an opening this past week, but that that's just for orders, so that won't be shipping out for a little while. So this was the previous clamshell opening, and I will go ahead and jump right in, so I will put her card there. Uh, she sent a lollipop, a dum-dum. What flavor is this one? Does it say? Might be grape. I don't know and then a sample and this sample she did say in a video prior to shipping these out that it was going to be in a new scent called 007 and it's something like leather and money and something else so it's supposed to be a manly scent of course which it does it kind of has like a clean manly scent almost like a man that just got out of a shower that used a manly kind of body wash that's what it smells like to me clean and manly so it's actually pretty nice I'll probably melt it and see what I think of it and a lot of people think that that might be available in the Bambar opening just because it is a new scent and she did not have it in the last clamshell opening so we shall see and then she does send an invoice so I got that and then one of the like things I love about uh, Brandy's wax, or I guess ordering... Oh, look at There's the description for the sample. Oh, that's really cool. I did not know that was on there. So 007 is a sexy blend of classic tuxedo, tuxedo $100 bills, and golden amber. So no leather, but it's tuxedo, $100 bills, and golden amber. And then I gave you kind of my impression of what it actually smelled like. So there's all the scents from this last opening. And I will read the ones to you that are ones that I purchased. So I will go ahead and jump right in. And the first one that I got is Iced Berry Tea. And I will show you what the inside looks like as well. So she does these kind of stamp impressions now. That's kind of one of the things she does that's super cute with the strawberry. It is double layered. And so this one, oh, that smells so good. Uh, this, oh, if I can get that in front of the camera for you to see. I don't have these in any particular order. So this is Vanilla B. Noel, her house sweet berry fragrance and white tea. And this is really good. It's definitely like a nice kind of tart berry. And then you kind, you get that like iced tea note in there. Offhand, I'm not smelling Vanilla B. Noel but I'm guessing that that's something that's going to sweeten it up. And then one thing I do notice with Brandy's wax is it always smells different when you melt it. Like on cold, there's like certain scents that stand out the most, but then when you melt it, like usually you get all the different scents that are in the blend. And they usually do just smell so different on warm than they do on cold, and that one is fantastic. So this next one is Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is what it looks like. And the scent, scent description on this one is herbal lavender, sweet candy canes, and fluffy cotton candy. Oh, and it smells fantastic. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I can smell the lavender and then the candy canes. The cotton candy, I'm not really picking up a lot of. I'm getting it a little bit in here. But you know what's weird? Okay. I do like it, but as I sniff it more, I'm just getting the smallest, smallest, smallest hint of kind of like a Pepto-Bismol note, kind of a minty bubble gum. And I bet you it's the mint mixed with the cotton candy is probably why I'm getting that. Because cotton candy is fruity, so mixed with the mint, it's like a fruity mint. I don't know, it's weird, but I still really like it. And I definitely plan on uh, melting it and trying it out. So there's that one. <clears throat> Then I got two 
of 90210, which was a new scent in her last clamshell opening. Well, sorry, it was a new scent for this opening that I'm showing the order now, but it was a sample in the previous clamshell opening. And this is Peachy Coconut Smoothie Cotton Candy in Seaside. And I am loving peach scents and coconut scents these days. So then I saw this and I was like, mixed with Seaside, that sounded really nice. So I was like, I have to try that out. So I'll put that one there. And this is what it looks like. That's super cute. She has the boat with the sun in there, the sailboat. Oh, and this is amazing. I definitely I get the peach and the coconut and the seaside. Those are the three scents that I smell. And they all are really equal of all three of them. Like not one of them overpowers the other, which is actually really nice. And there is cotton candy in it. I don't distinctly smell the cotton candy, but I think that just sweetens it up. That's really good. That's like a beautiful, great summer scent. So uh, if she has that in the Bam Bar opening, I may consider getting that in a Bam Bar. Next is Happy Birthday. And I love that pink color. And then the inside looks like that. And Happy Birthday is sweet, fluffy buttercream icing with a sweet strawberry filling and delicious white birthday cake. So this is really good. Her strawberry is um, like a tart and sweet strawberry. And it's one that I've definitely smelled from other vendors. It's not my favorite, but I still actually really enjoy it. But with the icing and the birthday cake, it really sweetens it up and makes it really delicious. And I want to melt this one. I think I'm going to melt it after I finish filming this because she is going to be offering this in the Bam Bar opening. And I want to see if I like it enough to try and get it in a Bam Bar. So I think I'm going to melt that tonight uh, before going to bed, a cube of it. And actually, I've been finding that I can melt a cube of her wax and it throws really well. Next, this is actually one of my favorites from this order, Jelly Jam and Dinner Rolls. And I'm surprised it is that I like it as much as I do. Uh, it's French baguette, orange marmalade, and strawberry jam. And I wasn't sure about the French baguette because some of the bready scents out there that have a buttery note to them, sometimes if they're too buttery, they just... They don't settle well with me. Uh, so I wasn't sure about this one, but I wanted to try it because of the strawberry and the orange marmalade. And I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love it. At least on cold, I do. So this is what it looks like. And um, it looks, it's just one color with the, with the drizzle of the wax. But it smells so good. You do get the French baguette, but it's like in the background. It's not like overpowering bread note. And then I get the orange marmalade. And then I get the sweetness of the strawberry. So actually, I think the orange marmalade is what I get first, is the strongest note. And then the strawberry and then the French baguette. It's really good. <laughs> really, really good. And this, I think, would be a good fall scent, too, without it being too fallish. Because it has that bakery note in there. So I really like that one. I'm looking forward to melting it. Then the next one I got two of as well, and this is Go to Sleep, and I've heard people rave about this one. It's definitely been a favorite for a long time, and this is also going to be available in Bam Bars, so I think I'm going to try melt it tonight as my nighttime melt, and see what I think, and decide if I feel like I love it enough to get it in a Bam Bar. But it is, um, it's her lavender and pink sugar. Okay, so here's the description. Perfect for relaxing bedtime. We combined our very best pink sugar blend with our sweet lavender cream. So I love lavender and pink sugar. So I, of course, had to get this one. And let me open it and show you what it looks like on the inside. This one did get cracked, but that's okay. And it's super cute. I love that the puddle of the wax in the middle and then the imprint with the stars and the moon. That is just super cute. Oh, and this is fantastic. I really do like her lavender. It's definitely kind of an herbally lavender. And this, she says it's her lavender cream. So I don't know if it's her same lavender scent and then she mixed something else with it to make it creamy and sweet, but then the pink sugar. But this is, it's creamy and lavendery, herbally, sweet, pink sugary goodness. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's, all of these smell like really strong on cold. So two of those, because I knew I would like them. I mean, I know I'm going to love pink sugar and lavender. <clears throat> Next is Son of Odin. And 
Ooh, look at the bottom of this one. That's cool. It has like wax crumbles in the bottom. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, which I believe that is supposed to be a lightning bolt. The first time I saw it, I thought it was supposed to be a tree, <laughs> like a tree with no leaves. And I guess it could be that when you turn it that way. But then someone said lightning bolt, so that probably makes more sense. But this is pomegranate, sugar cookie, and fresh picked strawberries. And it smells amazing. It's I definitely smell the pomegranate first. And then the strawberry. And I'm not really picking up the sugar cookie on cold. Not a lot. Maybe a little bit. But I'm mostly getting the pomegranate and the strawberry. But this is really a, a great scent. So that one smells yum. And I love the color of this one. This is Snape. That deep purple is just gorgeous and this is what it looks like on the inside and there is that beautiful flower imprint but that deep purple is just gorgeous so this is magically delicious warm sugar cookies dusted with sweet cinnamon sugar yeah and this is just like really rich sweet kind of bakery goodness it smells really good one of the things on this one in particular, I think because it's bakery, I do smell the plastic from the clamshell. So these are new clamshells. Uh, you've, if you've watched any of my melting review videos, the last couple I've done, Brandy's old clamshells weren't holding up over time and the fragrance oils were making them get mushy, which I have several that are like that. And I feel like I've been losing some of the scent out of them. They're not as strong or true to the original scent because of that. And she did change her clamshells. I think this might be the second or third clamshell opening she had with these. But I guess she's been getting complaints about the plastic smell. Which in some of these scents I do get. In Snape I get it. I think because it's more of a just a creamy bakery scent. Versus some of the others that are have, a stronger, have stronger notes to them. I don't pick it up. But for me... When I get that plasticky note, it almost is skunky. And so Brandy has posted in her group that that scent does not transfer to the wax and it does not transfer over into when you're melting it. That when you melt it, it should be fine. So I'm, I'm hoping that that is true. But that she's also picking up new clamshells as well. So she's not going to be using these ones anymore and she's found another uh, provider. And so hopefully those ones will do well. But I guess she's just going to keep trying different clamshells until she finds ones that I guess work well that don't have a plasticky scent and hold up over time and so just kind of that was a quick FYI and then the last of the clamshells is Just Breathe and I love these colors as well and the cute little wax puddle but this is I think I know it by heart but I want to make sure where is it? Okay, it's a eucalyptus, and she says Vixies, so I guess like Vix Vapor Rub. And this is so good. You definitely get the eucalyptus and then the Vix. So this is really good for nighttime or like with our dry summer right now here in Southern California, although we've had a lot of rain recently, so we've had some humidity. But when we, when we aren't experiencing random rain in the summer, and it's really dry my nose my allergies really bug me my nose gets so stuffy so this is great for any of that stuffiness so that's the wax I got I did order some of the bath and body products and I got I have tons of scrubs so I didn't I only got one scrub and that is because I wanted to really try these out I've heard great things and people have compared brandy scrubs to um, another very well-known vendor that uh, that people love her scrubs but um, so I got one in Jaws, and I don't have the scent description because she doesn't put the scent descriptions for the body products on here, it looks like. Yeah. So I know, though, I think this is supposed to be kind of like a, a fresh scent. I'm going to open. So they come with that seal on there. So I'm pulling it off, and this is what it looks like. And so that's like the seal. I'll probably scrape that off. But that smells really nice. It's like a very fresh kind of oceany air kind of scent. That's really, really nice. Yeah, I really like that. So 
And that thing is packed full. And uh, my understanding from other people that have reviewed her scrubs, and actually I think it's a woman by the name of Alicia that actually does the body product with, with Brandy, but that they get like nice and sudsy and creamy when you use them in the shower. So I'm excited to try them out. But I did want to show you what it looks like. So, And then I did order again from this last clamshell opening that she had this past week. And I got one more scrub and one more of... I guess she introduced a lotion. I'm going to put this back there. Uh, so, right. This last few openings, they've had body butters. But the body butters, I'll show you this in a minute. But now what they had in this most recent opening is a body cream, I think they called it. Which is supposed to be creamier than the body butters. So I will show I don't know if they got complaints or what. But I have used this one. But it's super hard. So, like... I'm pushing my thumb in there. You can see it kind of mushing up, but you really have to get your, like, dig your fingers in there to get any out of here. It truly has the consistency of, like, hardened butter. So I'm wiping that off on my, my arm, and I'll rub it in. But then once you rub it in, so let's see if I can get my, my hand in there. It is, like, you can see how it, it provides that, like, richness on your hand. And I have used these a couple times already because I wanted to check them out. They are pretty rich and a little greasy when you first put them on. So I think if you're, you know, I think they do kind of soak in, but they do stay greasy for a little while. So if you don't like that, you probably wouldn't like these. But I don't know if she's going to be offering body butters anymore, if she's just going to be switching to the body cream. But I do like them. And what I've been doing is putting them on at night and then going to sleep. And then it really... I, I, my legs, I suffer from really dry skin on my legs. I do not know why. Like everywhere else I'm usually okay, but I've been putting it on at night and then I have not had that like ashy dry legs that I usually struggle with. Like I still put lotion on, but I can put lotion on in the morning and then a few hours later my legs are dry again. And this has really been helping with that. And then I also got a body butter in Yoda, which I think Yoda is like honeydew. I didn't open this one yet, but I think it's honeydew and something else and funnel cake. Maybe. Oh, that's honeydew and cantaloupe and funnel cake or something. I don't, I could be completely off. I know I have it in a, a bam bar, but there's the Yoda one. That smells really good. It's honeydew and something and funnel cake. I can't pick up the other note, but that smells really, really good. And then the last item is a body butter in Dr. Doom. Oh, does this have... Oh, no. Okay, that's just the, the like, description. Combining several different butters, including mango, kokum, coconut, and shea. Perfect for dry and cracking skin. Okay. But, yeah, there's no scent description on here. But, so I don't know the scent description for Dr. Doom. So I apologize. And on cold, on cold, it's not wax. When I sniff it in the jar, so here's what it looks like. This is another one. I have tried this one. I get, it's really faint. And it's kind of, it's like a creamy, slightly bakery something. I could be totally off, but that's what my nose is picking up. It smells good, but I don't really know what the scent description is for this one. So I apologize, guys. But... That is my order, and I know uh, I haven't ordered a lot from Super Tarts just because I didn't like the way she charged shipping before, but with her new website that she's using, it actually does a better job about estimating your shipping, I feel like, so if you're going to make a small order, it charges appropriately. If you make a larger order, it charges appropriately, and she still does refunds if it charges you more than it should by more than a dollar, I think, but for the most part, I think it's pretty accurate, so I, I kind of like that a little bit better, and because her stuff does throw really well, I am starting to actually order more from her, so that is what I got, guys. Thanks for watching, and I don't have any other videos planned right away. I'll probably do a melting video in about a week or so, and right now, I'm waiting on some orders, but nothing is shipping, I don't think. I Probably will have one order shipping this week, so I may have another haul video coming up in a few days. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.